theoretically two roots right, but the dominant root basically is going to be minus 1 ok. So, so in the limit if you try to make the quality factor q too low, what is happening? It looks like a first order system with a bandwidth omega p q p, omega p q p correct. I mean the uh, omega p is inconsistent with what you said earlier. You said this, we said that uh, it is going to become very slow, correct? Okay. So omega, I mean, uh, and why is it slow? Because the effective bandwidth is omega p times q p, and because q p is very low, the effective bandwidth is very very small, right? So the response of the system will be very very sluggish, right? Again, so therefore not desirable, you get a sluggish response. Okay. So, uh, so therefore, you know what is the, I mean high Q is not desirable, low Q is not desirable. Huh? So, what, what is desirable then? So, basically like everything else in life, you know, uh, it is the middle path which uh, which makes sense, right. You do not want to have too much of anything or too little of anything, okay. Uh, you do not want too much rain, you do not want too much sun, you do not want uh, uh, too much money, you do not want too little money, right. I mean, uh, uh, so, uh, so joy lies always being in the middle, right. And therefore, uh, you know, uh, uh, here therefore, what is your, uh, what is your, uh, you know, what do you think as engineers, what is the reasonable Q? Okay, I mean, uh, so Q of the order of 1 is, is, uh, uh, is, uh, is a, you know, is a reasonable Q. I mean, so as you said 1.5, heavens are not going to fall if you choose 1.5, heavens are not going to fall if you choose 0.8. Right, but uh, the Q you want for a closed loop system is uh, for the poles is roughly of the order of one, right? Where there's come maybe it's just critically damped or maybe slightly uh, some small overshoot. Okay, so this is what the Q we must be uh, we must have. All right. Now with this background, let's go back to our actual system and figure out what uh, uh, what Q we have. What Q do we have? The Q we got for our closed loop system is A naught root f time by 2, all right. So, this is A naught root f by 2, is this a large number or a small number? It is a large number. Remember that A naught square f, we want it to be very, very large. Let us say, I do not know, maybe we want 10,000, right. Then A naught root f by 2 will be root of 10,000 by, uh, by 2, which is 50, all right. So, that basically means that you go and hit the amplifier with a step. And then it will ring 50 times before it finally settles. So, uh, so definitely, I mean, as you can see here, uh, this I mean, uh, by cascading two identical stages in an uh, with the hope of being able to get a high loop gain. I mean, we've definitely got the high loop gain, but unfortunately, we seem to be in a situation where the closest system is technically stable. But the uh, response has got two or uh, the closed loop poles have a very high Q uh, making therefore making the amplifier you know not slow I mean uh, unusable because it keeps it keeps ringing all the time right There's a lot of overshoot undershoot and 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 this kind okay so it's like me asking you you know what is one plus two and then you know, some fellow saying 10 and then the other fellow saying 0 and then the other fellow saying, you know, 0. 0.5 and then the other guy saying 8.5 and uh, after 400 iterations, we converge to the answer which is 3. You understand? Uh, definitely not, not a, you know, not a fun thing. Hmm? All right. It would be okay if, you know, the first fellow said, you know, 2.5 and then uh, the next fellow said 3 and that is basically uh, reasonable because we settled to the final answer quickly. Hmm? All right. So, uh, so now maybe we say, okay, well, uh, perhaps uh, you know, uh, two being even is not our lucky number. Uh, so maybe we try with with uh, uh, with three stages and see what happens. Hmm? 
So, what do we do? Well, again same old same old. Uh, so, so we will go through the steps quickly. So, what is the loop gain function? Very good, it is a naught q over 1 plus s over omega naught the whole cube times f. So, the closed loop uh, transfer function is 1 over f times 1 over 1 plus 1 plus s over omega naught whole cube by a naught cube f. Hmm? And rather than write this out like you know as a polynomial in the in the first two cases we wrote the whole thing out as a polynomial and uh, looked at its roots, but uh, I do not know about you guys, but uh, you know if given a third order polynomial it is uh, I do not know of any uh, you know uh, a quick formula to find the uh, find the roots. Okay? Uh, so, rather than do that you know uh, exploiting the fact that the three poles are the same. Okay, uh, if we I mean by hook or crook we need to find where the where the poles of the denominator are, right? Whatever trick works works. Hmm? So uh, closed loop poles are simply the ro roots of one plus one plus s by omega naught the whole cube by a naught cube f equals 0, which basically means that this is 1 plus s by omega naught whole cube is minus a naught cube f. Okay. So, what is 1 plus a naught cube, uh, what is this then? Yeah. So, 1 plus s by omega naught therefore, is nothing but a naught f to the one third times cube roots of of minus one. Remember, this is a uh, uh, sorry. This is one plus s by omega naught. All right. Remember, we have it's a third order polynomial. It must have three roots. And the three roots, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, are a naught f to the one third times the cube roots of minus one. So the poles, so s by omega naught, therefore, must be equal to minus one plus a naught f to the one third times cube roots of. Now what are the cube roots of? times minus 1, the 3 roots are minus 1, minus half, very good, plus j root 3 by 2, minus half, minus j root 3 by 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, sorry, 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 absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah correct, right, all right. So, the, the poles are therefore at minus 1, minus a naught f to the one third minus 1 plus a naught f to the one third times half plus minus j root 3 by 2. So, if you plot the locus of these roots as a naught is varied for a naught is 0, where are the uh, for a naught tending to 0, where are the uh, 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 the roots? Where are, where are the negative real axis? Yeah, so s by omega naught will basically be at, so I am this is plotting s by omega naught, so that I want to keep carrying omega naught everywhere. So, this is basically going to be the 3 poles at minus 1. As a naught uh, 
uh, as the magnitude of the loop gain keeps increasing which is what we want to do. What do we want that a naught cube f to be? We want it to be very large right. So, uh, so as a naught f to the one third keeps increasing right, what comment can we make about the locus of the uh, of the uh, roots? What happens to uh, this guy? Yeah, one uh, this branch goes, this is the root locus stuff that you are familiar with from control right. So, that goes to the left. What happens to the uh, the other two? Yeah, they basically go at uh, Sixty and minus sixty degrees, right? Um, okay, and uh, uh, you know what is the thing that you notice from this picture? As you keep increasing a naught cube f, eventually two poles are going to go into the right half s plane. If the second order system was bad enough where the q was so high that it was unusable, these poles are downright crazy right because they are in the right half s plane all right. So, what uh, so now the question is you know uh, perhaps we are still ok if that a naught f needed or a naught cube f needed to push the poles into the right half s plane is so large that you know it does not bother us right. So, if if you need the 10 million a naught cube f for the poles to go into the right half s plane we say oh well that is 10 million is sufficiently large number uh, you know, maybe I I work with uh, close to a naught cube f of 100,000 and I am still good right. Uh, so, we may we need to find out therefore, what is the maximum a naught cube f that will still result in poles in the left half s ok. All right. So, uh, uh, what comment can uh, uh, can you make uh, about that? So, uh, how will we find that? What is the limit of a naught cube f where the roots have 0 real part? How will you figure it out? Minus 1 plus a naught f to the one third by 2 and this must be equal to 0. So, what is a naught cube f? All right. So, what is this uh, the what is this whole story telling us? What is this telling us? that uh, if uh, the DC loop gain namely a naught cube f is greater than 8, then well the system is unstable right. Uh, and at this point uh, you may say well you know uh, the whole, what is the whole point in going to this third order system? Yeah, the whole idea behind going to this third order system was to get you know uh, uh, a large DC loop gain. So, that your uh, the properties of your negative feedback system will be largely independent of the forward amplifier right, but uh, we see that we have a serious problem here correct. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the serious problem is that with uh, with a third order system the uh, uh, the closed loop poles are the closed loop poles are uh, uh, are in the right half s plane even when the DC loop gain is as small as as 8. And then the obvious question is you know why did I do all this in the first place I might have as well used a first order system right its loop gain was low in the first place, but at least it was not unstable all right ok. So, this uh, this uh, uh, the, the, the this first order system is basically like you know uh, you know you are in a you are in a company and you know uh, uh, you have this uh, this uh, this employee who is uh, uh, who is very nice and easy to work with right uh, very stable right 
uh, but uh, you know uh, is not very smart ok alright because gain is not very high right. The third order system is like uh, is like uh, is a very smart employee, but uh, you know uh, uh, the person keeps fighting with everybody right and is impossible to work with because the person is so unstable correct ok. So, I mean uh, uh, so uh, you are either uh, on one side you have the devil on the other side you have the deep sea right. Uh, so, what you actually want is, I mean you want uh, you know uh, you want uh, uh, a smart person who is also uh, good to work with right ok and you know does not get into fights with the teammates all the time. Uh, so, that is basically the uh, uh, that is the uh, intention hmm? all right. So, uh, so, uh, so what we would ideally, ideally like to do therefore, is uh, uh, figure out a way where, so let, let us say a first order loop gain, what are the good things about it? Uh, unconditionally stable ok. Uh, what are the bad things? Low uh, DC loop gain third order or high order in general. I mean ok well we did this for third order uh, you know now perhaps you say oh maybe third order is is, is uh, unlucky again right uh, maybe we should do it for fourth order what do you think will happen if you look at the trend what what do you expect to see yeah there you know it's just that this uh, now you'll have three poles uh, uh, you totally will have four poles right two will go into the left half plane two will go into the right half s plane so and you know higher order and this thing basically you get things become even worse. Hmm? So, uh, third or higher order loop gain basically the nice thing is is high DC loop gain and this is uh, 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 but this is uh, you know uh, unstable I am writing unstable because you know if you use high DC loop gain it is unstable. If you want to make it stable then the uh, loop gain is low. In which case the question is the legitimate question to ask is why did I want to do all this in the first place all right. So, this is uh, 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 the uh, bad aspect of this and this is the good aspect and like in uh, you know uh, most engineering situations you know what do you want to do? You want to combine these two so that you get I mean you basically want to find a solution where you know you hope to get these two guys married so that uh, you know the result will be something with the good points of uh, of both parents right uh, uh, but of course if you do things wrong you know you, you can get the uh, bad things of both uh, both the parents and then uh, that's a disaster hmm? you understand so that's basically the uh, the whole idea behind uh, uh, what we are going to do. Uh, the basic idea is the following, if you somehow take a third order system and make it look like a first order system right, uh, then you know you uh, 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 you basically uh, will inherit the properties of of a uh, the stability properties of a first order system right and uh, yeah and uh, so therefore, uh, I mean it is it is a uh, we will uh, hopefully inherit some of the nice stability properties of the first order system.